Welcome back to Father and Son Tractors. Today, Harry and I are going to have a quick look at the brakes on the Fordson Diesel Major. See if anything needs repairing or whether it's just a bit of a restoration work to clean them up and get them functioning correctly. Safety first, we always start with the brakes on our tractors. Gotta get those working. The whole driveway is on a slope. Last thing we want is a tractor rolling away. <laughs> Let's have a look. On the Fords and Diesel Major, safety first. So the first thing we do with any tractor is get the brakes working. Right now, we need to remove that one. Maybe it's one smaller. Just try this one. Yeah, that's it, that one there. So to get that off, you push the button on the back. What? Clever, isn't it? And when you put, push the button, you're going to put that on. Because so it's got a slightly smaller hole in the back of it, that socket look. And that's what I need to re adapters for, really. Okay. And that's it. Now, these brake drum covers normally have three of these bolts in. Ours only has one on both sides. Um, so normally Harry would have to take out three. There you go, he's out. So we want to keep that safe. Over here. So if you carefully, it's not heavy, you should just be able to pull that one off, give it a wiggle around. That's it, good boy. Oh, something's been living in here, look. Spider evidence. Yeah. Look at the corrosion Spider. and rust. But he's actually quite solid, so that's not bad going. So this is the drum, but it breaks. Yes, we are taking that one off. Should we do that one now? This one is much heavier and harder to wriggle off because he's on like a toothy spline like that. I'll show you that in a moment. Let's have a look inside that one. No, that's tiny. Bigger. No, that's, that's I reckon, that. That one there. So we need a bigger bigger thingy which is left out somewhere. Let's use the adapter for now. We could have a bigger hatchet handle. Not something easier, but that's okay. Yep, yeah, so anti-clockwise, lefty loosey. And stiff, you want me to start it off? You're turning the whole brake, you've got that much muscle. That's it, ready? Oh, you want me to do it? There you go, good boy. It doesn't help when the whole thing bends. I suppose technically. Did it snap? No, it's not snap. I think it's cracking it. Oh, really? Oh, so the washer is called a spring washer. And the reason there are parts like that is it puts pressure on the bolt so vibrations don't undo the bolt. That's it, keep going. It'll be a couple of inches long, that, that big nut, oh, that big bolt. No, you need to take it's over. Just so now, though, it is a lot easier down. now. When we put these back together, we'll clean all these bolts up, pop a little bit of grease on them, and put them back. They slide right on in. It's so long. Mm. It is. Oh. Yes, one kind of feels it doesn't need to be that long. Yeah. I can imagine back in 19. What was this? 1950 or 52 or something? There you go. We want to keep that one safe as well. Now this is heavier, so let me come a bit closer. So inside here there are two brake shoes and they expand and they grip this. This turns with the wheels, look, see where the wheel goes? Oh. So as the wheels turn, this turns all linked on some cogs in here. Then when you hit the brakes, it expands the shoes and it grabs this. But I'll take this off because... So it's got like a toothy, yeah. what do you call that? Like a star spline yeah. that slides into these grooves. So this will never slip. Big bit of cast metal. And here are the shoes. And here are all the springs. 
this adjusts it has. So you turn that and it open this slightly if you need the brakes to be a bit sharper. And it's all pulled on a cable here, look. Oh, here that sort of, look. So you see it opens, it's all grimy, look. But so that should spring back closed. So I need to come unhooked, look. Yeah. So we need to take all this apart, give it a good clean. I got some new spring sets. This is some I made earlier, which go on top of it, which go, go in place of all these springs. Then we'll put it back together. Okay. And then they'll work. Yay. Yay. So now we've got to remember, now everything's cleaned up. So we de-rusted all the parts with a wire brush on an angle grinder and then just painted them with a bit of rust converter as you can see in the time lapse prior. Now we just got to remember how to reassemble it all and there's actually not much to it. So that's going to be on that opening side there but I think, so it goes this this first, that's gonna need to pull that out. So, can you pull that out? So, I get a pair of grips on. So he's stiff, isn't oh he? My God. That's good, that's plenty far <sighs> enough. Yeah, that's plenty far <sighs> enough. So what we'll do is we'll wiggle this back and forth with a bit of grease on it or something. Try and, there is a grease, grease nipple. It's a grease nipple underneath. <laughs> <laughs> Grip it as it turns. So I don't know. I don't know if we need to, so what's that? Is that opening it or closing it? That's closing it. Right, so let's, so it's closed a bit. So it's about lining up these spiky bits. To get that on, somehow. Okay. There we go. Then there's the bolt needs to go back on. So that one's warm. Put another one here. You hold that has. And do you remember what I said? We put a little bit of grease on it, just so that when we have to get this on and off to adjust the brakes, put on new shoes, and do servicing in the future, the bolt comes off a lot, lot easier without all that strain we had earlier. So we're going righty tighty now. So clockwise, that's lefty loosey, righty, tighty, good boy. And the socket is already ready. Look. And what we might find is when you tighten it up, it might pull this in. So you can see this outer bit of the shoe, of the drum as well. We took the wire brush too on the battery angle grinder. We prefer the battery one because it's not too vicious. And then we put rust converter on. So that's now in righty tighty mode. 
Is that a different size? You're good. Right, there we go. Oh. Now it's obviously not too tight. So the brake pedal has a spring on it, which currently isn't So that's on. making that go around. Okay. So, hands up. If you turn it, and I'll push the pedal the other side, it won't spring back, so it might lock on. And we'll see if I can break. Uh, which one is it, that one? Right, keep turning. Yeah, okay, I'm breaking. <laughs> and now he's going. Keep turning, and break. Go backwards. Go backwards. And break. Yeah. There you go, right, so the brakes work. Yay. So they don't automatically do inert work. So now we'll clean up this side as we've done the other side. High five. Your job will be a good one. Thank you very much for watching. This is a great start to making this tractor a bit safer and eventually it will run and it will all be lovely and restored for Tourette's Action, the charity, won't it, as yeah. we can take some shows and stuff. But thank you for watching. If you've got any questions, do ask. Although clearly, if you have any comments that will help us, please comment. Uh, like and subscribe below.